Right, morning guys, welcome to this week's video. So we're out with Russell today from Outdoor Active. Uh, we're just taking a little pack rafting an adventure, a little micro adventure along the River Waveney. So without further ado, let's skip straight to the intro. So we're out with Russell for a reason really, and that is um, I sort of contacted Outdoor Active to see whether you could add pack rafting as one of the activities uh, to go along with all the other activities like hiking, cycling, trail running, all of that. And I thought really the best way to try and explain pack rafting to someone that has never ever tried pack rafting or seen pack rafting was, uh, was to come out for a day's, uh, day's micro adventure. So uh, we're now walking my circular route which is a 5k route uh, walking along the Angles Way, down to Gelderston, and then a 5k route back to Beckles. So Russell, um, so outdoor active, how can it be used for someone like myself with like a multi-sport discipline? I guess someone like yourself may not always need inspiration, but if you do need inspiration, then you can go on the website and search for routes, see what you might want to do. You can uh, search by location or search by length or difficulty or activity. And then once you've, once you've found a route, or if you can't find a route, you can plot your own route. So then you can use the Outdoor Active app to navigate you down that route. So, you'll, so you won't get lost and you'll also be able to record what you've done so for posterity so you can later go back for it, look at the stats and, and, and uh, share it with your friends. I think one of the great features for me is the fact that you can take your photos and add those to your tracks as well. And uh, what Outdoor Active will do is it will, it will geolocate your pictures and add them onto your onto your track as well so if you do want to upload your or change your tracks into a route then and upload that so that anyone can actually use your route they can actually see what the route looks like so mapping wise so um let's just talk about maps for a second so what are the maps like on uh, outdoor active well you've got uh, your your standard ordnance survey explorer and land ranger maps all right there on your phone that you can download uh, so so when you're out of contact with the cell network, you've still got access to them. Or you can use the Outdoor Active uh, map, which is a nice uh, style map. Or, or we even do Harvey Maps, which is a, a company based in Scotland. And they do some fantastic maps. So we've got a wide range of maps, both in the UK and abroad. What do you think? I think they look fabulous. I mean, they're pretty damn good bits of kit, really. And you can see where the, uh, why they cost so much money. I mean, they're not toys. No. They're, they're proper, they're proper adventure rafts. kit, really. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I've had people say to me, oh, you can get them 30 quid out of yeah. Lidl's. Uh, but, you know, the, no. the work and the design that's gone yeah. into them, uh, are uh, they're, they're just amazing, amazing bits of kit. And, you know, there's there's so many different types of pack rafts for, for whatever sort of, uh, uh, sort of adventure you're on whether it's whitewater touring with your bikes and stuff there's there's absolutely loads of different uh, types of them so let's say that one's specifically made for touring because it's got the uh, the cruiser deck on the top there you can see that stops the water getting in yeah. where something like this is designed uh, to allow the water in but allow the water to escape so what one do you fancy well, I think I'm gonna go for the uh, the green one because I'm gonna go for the really Revo. Awesome. yeah it is it's an absolutely get it fantastic the boat right we're gonna get kitted up and get these boats in the water Good stuff. 
Well, we couldn't have picked a better day to come out on the river today. It's absolutely beautiful out here today. So we're now paddling up from Gelderston up towards Beckles. We're going to stop halfway up and have some lunch here. And it's just been an absolute beautiful day. If this thing would stop whining, it would be even nicer. Right, so we're just going to stop just here underneath the willows just for something to eat. It's been a really lovely paddle so far. It's got a little bit overcast recently, but it's been a really nice paddle so far. How did you get on with it? What do you reckon to it? No, the wind was a bit against us and the tide was a little bit against us. So I was very impressed with how, how responsive the, the rafts were and how lightweight they feel. And we, we paddled that distance with no problem at all. So I was really impressed with the, with the rafts. Great stuff. Right then, so Din Din's today. Can I help you? Is that what you're after? Yes, I thought that might be what you're after. So we're having slonczka today. So slonczka is a Polish sausage. It literally is a massive, massive smoked sausage that comes like so. Uh, it's one of my absolute favorite sausages. It's pre-cooked, so it's hot smoked. Uh, it's also one of this one's favourites as well, but she's not having any today. So we've got to cook that up in a frying pan today and <laughs> get out. You're not having any of it. And uh, see how we go. You're not vegetarian, are you, I'm by not, any no, chance? No. <laughs> right then, let's get this sorted out. 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 So the trick, get out. The trick with Slonjka is if you just do little tiny cuts all the way down the sausage Mali. so these sausages are better cooked uh, over an open fire they're absolutely awesome these are there's loads of different styles of these so if you ever get a chance to go into the polish deli and just ask for the best sausages for an open fire they'll choose the best ones for you but there's loads and loads of different uh, types of them some of them smoked with different woods and stuff. There's there's one Mishlifska, I think it's called, and it's um, it's smoked with uh, green uh, green pine, and it's absolutely beautiful. So we're just going to cut the other t other one up, and we'll get these in the frying pan. dog without a gherkin but these ones are not pickled these are in a brine these are so these are called kashona or gorki so these are in salt water with loads of loads of garlic a couple of gherkins now how about mustard and ketchup uh, yeah I think so <laughs> All prepared. Oh, look. look at 
Right, well, cheers. Anyway, what does he say in Polish? Smacznego. Hmm. A little mushroom in my beard now. So I'll stick a link to uh, this route in my uh, Outdoor Active account in the description below there. And I'd just like to say also we've got a 10 euro discount available and the code is in the description as well to anyone that wants to subscribe to the Pro or the Pro Plus subscription with, uh, with Outdoor Active. Right, so that roughly is it for today. So we're just at our put out now. So I'll just turn the old uh, Outdoor Active off. So two hours. 7.7k we've done today and that's a complete circular trip there so I'm going to turn this into a route and I'll stick that up and stick a link to that down in the description below if anyone fancies having a go with that it's been an absolute cracking day out today it's been great to have Russell come along and uh, see what pack rafting is all about so thank you for watching this week's video and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button just below there and as always a couple of videos for you to take a look at and we'll see you next time on the next one